what is your big announcement actually i do want to know okay can i just say that can i get another drink yeah several things to say here though just we're really holding out on you um is we ha so helen i said earlier i was like huge announcement but i think um people thought that we were getting married we're not yeah <laughs> or that we're pregnant we're not people have gotten in touch to be like are you starting a sarah what you doing i'm like do people even want that? Uh, I would. Do people want that? Yeah. But I think it would be better if I started something where I just scare Sarah every day because she's the most easily scared person I've ever met. It's so fun. Please do that. He cries that. sometimes. Mwah, gorgeous. Are you gonna Are you gonna list the guy who's problematic in the industry? Is that the big surprise? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna name and shame because who has the time? We don't have four hours. Um, <laughs> but um, no, what we're well, it's actually. I mean, Sarah, are you coming back? No. Shall I just do the announcement alone? Yeah, go for it. What, really? I'm joking. Oh, she's, I'm not allowed to do it. I have to wait. You can start it. I'll come and join you. I love it. Oh, somebody said my first thought was a second series. I love that optimism, and we are hoping for a second series, but it's not that yet. But hopefully that will be an exciting announcement. <laughs> because now you've asked me on as a guest as a single person so we're like tick tock tick tock baby this is very true i genuinely I, I know this sounds bad but i think we will get one this is, i feel like everyone's like, and also i'm fine because i've been single for 29 years so like you'll be fine have you never had a boyfriend in 29 years no not officially i've got a lot of boyfriends that like i refer to as exes and they're mm -hmm. just sort of like just like, like i have had relationships that's so weird because you're so very attractive do you think that not that's just an obnoxious thing for me to say. That's so weird because you're so attractive. But like, I just mean like, it's not my beauty. It's not my beauty. It's, it's me. Not. No, it's I, not. Stop I need it. To do a lot of therapy and then go into a relationship. I think I'm one of those classic relation. Not to go too deep into me, but I kind of want to. Um, I. Oh my god! Someone sent me a gift on Pokemon Go. Whoever what? that was, thank you. What? Oh, I'll put right my Pokemon Go details in my Instagram after this. So please do follow me. Any more friends? Um. I think to go back to relationship things. Wait, I did somebody think, from here send you a gift in Pokemon? I don't know. I just got a notification saying That's... Pokemon Go you've got a new gift from a new friend. Oh, so cute! I love that. Yay! Um, I what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I think I have a habit. I will only fall in love with someone when I'm sure they won't love me back. Because then it's sort of like, oh, you hate me as well. Oh, I feel the same way that you do. We're on the same page. Oh, that's horrible. I know. But it's like, it's so consistent. So I'm just sort of like, maybe I need to, I don't want Dottie hearing this. She's so young. Cover her ears. I think I need to work on that. Yeah, before. I think, I think that's genuinely, uh, it's always, sorry, I always get confused when you say some things sincerely, but truly, I think that's really, really nice of you to like, and self-aware of you to say, oh, come on. But that's so self-aware <laughs> and also so necessary, but also makes me sad because you're very lovable. So let's all work on that because- Well, then find me someone. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. I love that. finding people, people. Oh, God, you are going to go on I'm so actually many quite successful at it. With people who used to debate at university. Yeah, I'm actually very good at it. Please, can I try? Sorry, I'm just reading the messages and someone's talking about the dog while I'm opening up about my, like, my <laughs> So. Yeah, well, you know, people can multitask. I'm sure they were having intense empathy. Oh, we love you. Okay, can you? Are we doing the Yeah, do your announcement. Should I? This is my life now. Can you put the dog down so we can tell Okay. I mean, honestly. Uh, someone said, Sarah, you sound like my husband when I play Cupid. Yeah, I just, I love, I love it. I think I could. Okay, I think I could. Anywho. Um, here is the oh, deal. Oh, God, such an anticlimax this now. No, don't say that. Oh, sorry. This is going to be big, too. It's Fine. like right. Just don't over egg it either. Okay, right. so we've been working. So because we wanted to tell people on Insta Live first, because the reason that we're doing this is because of Insta Live. So every Thursday we do this, and we're going to keep doing Insta Live at 7 o'clock every Thursday. Amazing. But it's been so great because it's made us feel like people actually want to hang out and talk and um, would maybe watch if we put on a show. And so, um, and you guys have repeatedly asked, would we do a show online? So we are going to run our own show online every Thursday. 
comedy show, not just Insta chat. Mm -hmm. So at seven, we're going to do Insta live to pre-show. And then at eight o'clock, we're going to do a show called Gigless every Thursday. Right. And, uh, and we're going to have, we already have really great people who've agreed to do it. We're hoping Helen will agree to do it. Oh, no. oh okay. Um, oh, but, oh. But, okay. <laughs> So we're doing a gig every week. We've already had Fern Brady and Sophie Duker oh. and Eleanor Tiernan and Ivo Graham. Graham. Lots uh, of great people already agreed to, to do it. it. So and just roll our eyes. <laughs> That's a good dream lineup. No, I'm just like, holy shit. Yes, perfect. Amazing. The movie, Helen Barrett, Charlie George, loads of people are doing it. So we're really excited. And She's so good. It will start next Thursday. Yes. And the idea is what we people are saying fun, yay. So the idea is we want to keep it really accessible. We don't want people to not be able to come because it costs a certain amount. So the idea is we're gonna to try to keep the tickets as cheap as we can, probably like between three and five pounds, and then we'll have a donate link. So if you're having a good time, you can add more. But if you're having a terrible time, don't mm. well then don't. Mm. But that would be guys. This yeah. sounds great. We're excited. We're excited also because it's been so terrifying since lockdown started. Everything's felt out of our control. And it's nice to be able to take a little bit of a back and be like, actually, let's set up our own thing and have a nice audience for our friends. And it's also nice to have, we're going to split all the earnings between everybody who does the gig evenly. It's not going to be, but the, oh. A charity, please, Catherine, and a charity. <laughs> Come on now. Let's Helen, we've well, said you can do the gig. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're hoping it's going to be fun and like, it's going to be good comics doing new and old material. Oh, mainly new. We hope they do new. I want to, I want them to talk about now because we need to, a way to still get through this because mm. it's not over tediously. Yeah. Um, so that's so what yeah. have material about you both watching Tiger King and getting super into it and dressing up. Oh, yeah. Please, Please do, do it. Please. Oh, yeah. We're going to be like, we're probably going to co host some weeks and other weeks I'll host and Sarah will host and one of us will gig. So we're very no, excited. Yeah co-host because your compatibility on stage is zero and it's so couple <laughs> that functions so lovingly off stage thing. on stage just being like shut the fuck what the fuck is going <laughs> like you have to co-host because it is so fun for me particularly as a single person to watch mm -hmm. just it disintegrate into chaos mm -hmm. yeah please realize why you don't want to be in a relationship so that's the idea but we don't want to give up on instagram live because you guys have been so consistently here we're thank we're so grateful for it and then also we're doing it on zoom so people can get like either it's gonna be 100 people in the 100 places in the audience and then um we'll also embed a link so people can watch it during the week hopefully we're very excited we're very excited we're even cleaning up our youtube pages for this shit do you know how much admin that is it's so much admin do you know how little i know how to do that and, and not at all is the answer. I don't have a YouTube page. But you're going to set one up for this. Mm -hmm. We're pretty pumped. We made a graphic. You guys have got to get YouTube pages. Like, even so well as posting regularly again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, we've got them. We've yeah. got them. That's my point. Is we're really back. committing to this. Mm. We're back. She's still with Alfie. She's just sort of like, I mean, she loves working from home. So it kind of really suits her. And she's doing great.